pulled underneath the pillow, and you think of this as you go to sleep tonight. There's a cold spot beneath the pillow where the dark demons lie. They lurk around in childhood and stay until you die. Until you die, they creep and float and slip into your sleep and look for all the world like the company you keep. The company you keep that never leaves your side for underneath the pillows where your conscience seems to hide. Dark demons, not foreign things, not beasts, not ghouls, not fairy tales, but the unturned off ovens and unlocked doors, the kicked dogs of every day, and our little lies, slimy secret sneers, and stiletto Judas words about a friend that we hide from by day in piles of bluster, then brush away with a feather duster. But at night, from beneath the feather pillow, the demons float out for us all and put our backs against the wall. We see them mince and taunt the bully of the schoolyard and the bar, the triple-tongued sellers of junk bonds, snake oil and false hope, the double-tongued lover. They all look familiar in the mirror and have lain in wait beneath the pillow. You will not hide from them in bed. Oh, the silken ties around the neck that string of pearls around the neck, that cut of hair or bicep bulge, that hurried, I must take another call, all worn as if a cashmere shawl to let your conscience hide away and fend off demons when it's day. But ties and pearls and dressed up hair cannot fit in that cold spot beneath your pillow when it is night. For in the dark, in your bed, there's a cold spot beneath your pillow, where your dark fingers lie, nestled in a soft bend of arm, mainlining chill through your soul. There's no hiding there, for underneath the pillows where your dark fingers lie, they live 